Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and today we've got video number three in our Chris Lord Algae CLA mix series, and this one has to do with processing acoustic guitar. And acoustic guitars can be one of the trickiest sources to process in a mix, simply because they're so dynamic, they cover such a large frequency range, they're kind of tough to rein in, you want to keep them natural sounding but still fitting in the mix, it can be tough to do. But CLA does it with a couple of things. First of all, a piece of outboard gear, the LA3A compressor, and of course the channel strip on his console, the SSL channel strip. So the first thing you want to look at is the LA3A compressor. If you've never used one of these before, it's an optical compressor like an LA2A, but it's a solid state instead of tube based compressor, which generally makes you able to compress more with kind of less of the side effects and character you'd get from an LA2A. It's also a little bit quicker. So that means you can compress a lot on a source like acoustic guitar and not have it sound overly compressed, which is great. That's what you want with acoustic guitar. Works great on vocals too, but the LA3A is set for acoustic guitar in this case. The way CLA sets it up is actually to have the peak reduction straight up and down at five. He'll have his gain at three. Now that's very dependent upon the source here. I had to crank the gain up a little bit to level match it coming out. But again, the gain is just kind of the output that you can mix to taste depending on what you're looking for in your mix. It's set to compression, not limiting, and that's pretty much it. It's a really simple compressor to use, just like the LA2A is. After the LA3A compression, we go into the SSL channel strip and we take a little bit out of the low end with the shelf. In this one, I went with about 200 hertz, taking out about 5 dB or so. Then you're going to go with about a 3 dB boost at 3K and a 3 dB boost at 8K. Kind of that picky sound in the top end. And that really helps the acoustic guitars cut through the mix. Now, without any processing at all, Here's what the acoustic guitars sounded like. I've got one panned hard left, one panned hard right. And both of these double track guitars have the same exact processing on them. Again, the LA3A into a little bit of SSL EQ. bypass it on and off as it plays. It takes that boomy, kind of overly dynamic acoustic guitar sound and gets it really controlled with that top end poking through. And it really does help in the context of a full mix. So there you have it, really simple process for getting your acoustic guitars to sit well in the mix, courtesy of Chris Lord Algae. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.